So today we're back out exploring, and this time we're bringing you a prison, an abandoned prison um, in Ireland. And it's probably the best prison in Ireland, if not the best prison in Europe. We've been here once before, but when we were here it was night time, and it was basically too dark to do anything in terms of video wise. We came, we got photos and stuff, you've probably seen on my Instagram, my Facebook, the photos that we've been posting, trying to keep this one a secret for a long time, because how immaculate it is, and it's obviously one of these ones you're going to gatekeep, and we're not going to tell anybody. There's a lot of rich history about this place, which we'll sit down and talk about later, but for now, we're going to get it in, and we're going to enjoy it and explore it to the best of our ability. If I do miss anything, I do apologise. I will also make videos on my Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. So if anything is missed, check over there and you might be able to see it. But I'm going to do my best to try and capture everything that's in these videos. But like I was saying, electric and all still works. Like, this place is amazing. So we're going to explore this bottom part. And we're going to move on to the next layer of the building. Because there's three floors above us. And we're just going to enjoy it. So, let's get into this. This is going to be amazing. So making our way on through the floor. Had to have a wee cut scene there because I'm with a few other guys and they're basically walking towards me wanting to tell me something. But, yeah. But look at this. This is the room that I mainly came here for. I've seen photos of it online and right. it basically took me away and I wanted to come here and see it for myself. I seen these photos years ago and was like, I need to see that. But I always thought it was fake in terms of it wasn't a real abandoned building, it was like a studio or something. And essentially <laughs> it's real, we're here. Um but this place is so cool. So what's the rules on mobile phones? It is an offence of a prisoner to possess or use a mobile phone. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> Good thing we're not in prison. But, yeah. Let's make our way upstairs because all these rooms are basically all the same. In terms of... They're all empty. The bedding is upstairs in... No, sorry, the bedding is in another room. It's not upstairs. I lied about that. It's in a different building. Which is part of the... I'll say the prison. So we're gonna make our way upstairs and from there we're gonna explore and see what else. From what I know there's cool art upstairs is one of the cells. So we're gonna make our way up and we'll see you then. So we've made upstairs. One thing I am gonna say, you're gonna hear a lot of birds the higher we go. Because upstairs, up there, they're all sitting and last time we came they were swooping down aiming for our heads. So that's going to be a thing that we're going to have to worry about. But the way these cells are laid out is so cool because just think of the photos and stuff you can just get just there. Which is something I'm going to be doing at the end. I'm going to be getting photos and stuff just to try and get everything in. Because this is so cool. But yeah, like I was saying about some of the art, you can see it here. There's sadly no light in this one that works. The light's actually been ripped off the wall on basically all of these. Yeah, on all these it's been ripped off. So we're just going to make do with what we got. And my light is in my bag. So it's going to be hard for me to kind of get everything, but we're trying, we'll try. I should have probably lifted it out and I'll lift it out whenever I'm making my way up to the next level. I need to get over there to that room. This one's just all stuff. Oh, graffiti. I don't even know what the white dots on the wall. It might be mold or something from over the years. But let's just make our way over here to where I want to be. And from there, we'll check this one out. After we check this out, we'll find something else. It'll be a bit more interesting because upstairs is basically all the same in terms of the rooms. But yeah, so if you want to pause the screen, how about we read it that? You're more than welcome to. It's 
basically all the graffiti from the old prisoners that were here. So it is. Obviously they made their home, no their shells just like home. I forgot a, a dog. Alan with the Irish flag. And then that. There's some really cool rooms but obviously the majority of them just look like this. There we go. Yeah. It's quite simple, just like every standard toilet. There's me. You'll notice she shaved the beard from last video. Kind of got bored of it the other day, so I just took it all off. But, yes. So, this was a men's prison, and it was only men. We'll get into that later in the video. Basically, whenever video we run through and basically talk about everything. There's more stuff. Or not, but we're gonna make our way somewhere else and we'll have a look around and see what we can find. From what I remember, there is a pool table upstairs, so we'll have a wee friendly game of pool later. Let's go. So, we've made our way over to where the pharmacy is, as you can see, it will say on the door. That must be one of the rooms for, I'll say, patients and doctors. But well, this is the pharmacy room, and essentially. There's not very much an oxygen tank, obviously someone needs oxygen um, supplied to them. And a fridge. I'm going to assume that there was uh, medication and all stored in the fridge going off this sign and stuff. And it's, it's actually, actually not going to touch it because it's making weird noises. It's still on and it is locked. So the last thing I want to do is actually trying to open it. I did try and it made a weird noise so I'm not going to touch it. Then coming into this older room which is the CNO room. Anybody knows what that is let me know. It just looks like a doctor's office if I'm being completely honest. But there's some stuff left behind. And as you'll notice on basically every wall of the building there's these, which are shutdown switches, if I'm correct, which basically raises an alarm and um, I could think it goes into lockdown, it could be wrong. Irish Prison Service Patient Team. I wonder what that there is used for, because I know it goes on the cells, but I don't know what it does. Be interesting to know. And it seems like there is some stuff obviously left behind, and I'm going to be careful of what I'm touching. As I don't want to cause damage to anything, but I wonder what this is. Pretty cool, to be sure. Also, I have noticed with some of my clips, they are going to be coming out with a wee bit a blue tinge to them. I am going to try and get that fixed in post. So I am. So whenever I'm editing the video and stuff, I'm going to do my best to try and uh, eliminate as much blue as I can. But if I don't, and you realise. The cover sequences are a wee bit different. That's going to be why. Link way to C unit. So actually that must be the C unit there then. Which, there should be clips ran for the video of it and stuff. But this must be the C unit. See, as you can see, everything's just a wee bit blue. So I'm going to do my best to try and eliminate it. Because I have the camera set to auto colour balance. But if I can't, I do apologise. I'm going to do my best. But no promises. But yeah, let's make our way to somewhere else. So I've now made my way over to a different part of the building. I'm not too sure what this room is, but I don't believe it's the canteen. What it looks like, it looks more like an area the prisoners slash inmates sorry would come and basically relax, talk or whatever. So, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. I don't, it's not the visiting facility because I know where that is. So, I'm not too sure what this area is. There's no real signs telling me, but it's just one of those ones that has to go to a mystery. I'm going to assume it's where they would do classes and stuff like that there, but I'm not too sure because it does say here no smoking, no physical contact, and no foods, foodstuffs. Even meaning no 
probably drink food or whatever in here. So I'm not too sure what it is. Um, these other rooms don't really give me much of an indication. So they don't of what that room could be. So it is kind of hard to tell in that aspect. But we still trolley on, we still move on and try and figure stuff out. And here's just some lower toilet. Like we had a newer place. But we'll make our way upstairs. That takes us to the outside and we'll see what else there is. What's this? Actual. Oh. I'm gonna assume that's where the right heat stuff is. Their computers and stuff, CCTV. This must be like an interrogation room or something. I don't know. Look at that big flop to look in. Unless there's a holding cell for something. I don't know. Because it, it, it's hard to tell with a lot of this because a lot of stuff isn't actually written down on anything. So it's kind of hard to tell. Because a lot of the signs have been taken off doors and stuff like that. Like, a lot of the doors you can actually see uh, where signs have been and you can just tell they've been all been ripped off over time. Uh, actually, I'll go back here and I'll avoid it. So basically, the rules, what is a cigarette? Basically, gives you a rundown on a lot of the stuff. I'm going to show me. Oh. So I'm going to assume classes were taken here. So like people that were trying to get off drugs, alcohol and smoking would come here and do therapy or something. I don't know what you would, I don't, I don't know what you call it. I'm having a brain blank at the minute, but besides that, we'll make our way upstairs and see what else there is. But the prison is huge. Like I have said, I am going to miss so much of this place in terms of I'm not going to capture a lot just because the place is huge and I'm probably missing so much of it but looks like a big sports hall so it does gonna assume the officer sat in there to watch over them as they were gonna assume playing basketball or something because no I don't know because there's no basketball hoops when they were doing exercise we'll say so it's a gymnasium and here there's a TV, or is that a speaker? A speaker. Is it? Yeah, it looks like a speaker, I'm gonna assume. Yeah, it is. And then, I'm gonna assume this is their chapel. So it is, so this must have been used for that there, and also other things. There's phones over there, so they got their phone calls out of the prison. Look at these wee cups. Pretty cool. They're actually lights. Ben looks a lot. See, what's the odds they still work? A bit blown up. Yeah, they still work. It's pretty cool. Look cool from the distance. Hard to tell on camera, really, but yeah, they look pretty neat. Just stand in here, imagine. Standing here in front of all the inmates, talking to them, trying to change their lives and basically talk them out of doing the things they do and reoffending. Jesus himself. Didn't know he had a banner on the cross light, but yeah, what's in here? Just a weight changing area. I thought that was a confession booth, to be fair, when I walked in, but wait, is that the confession booth? Maybe, wait, Ugh, so many webs, maybe, no it wouldn't be, because I'm a confession booth, has people sitting on your side of it, but, no it's not, it's just where the speaker is, silly me, but, yeah, let's make our way over here, that's just a toilet there, so it is actually, but, seems like they're, air conditioning to learn. I'm not too sure if you can hear that, but I know I can. But, yeah, the phones. I'll get a clean one-ish. 
Oh, the mines must be cut. Don't work. No, we hear a humming noise. CCTV in operation. It smells like birthday. But like pet plates is trash. I don't know. It was like, it was definitely like this the last time I was here. But because I can fit this better, babes. I was only here last month, probably around about this date last month. Yeah, I would have been here. So this would be where the prison officer would sit and just watch out here all day on his computer, which would probably have all the CCTV put up and stuff. Yeah, another one in switches. What's this? Talking about the electrics, errors. And there's just so many books here. This is the one that just stands out the most. A thorn in the side. I'm going to assume it's about Jesus. Because of him. So we've made it through a C block. Uh, and we're now making our way outside to one of the other buildings. To hopefully find more stuff. That main building we were in is, basic, is basically all the cells and stuff like that so from here we're hopefully going to make our way to where the pool table is not only that we're also going to make our way to where the visiting facility is and the kitchen so it should be good look how cool this place is it's just like something out of walking dead it's amazing but yes let's make our way to the where the pool table is if I'm correct, it's in here, which actually looks like a leisure centre um, from the outside. You wouldn't think this is a prison. Well, if you looked around, you would, but the staircase up and stuff. But it's so good. But, yeah, let's make our way in. There is also a courtyard area. Which we are also going to explore. Is this actually maybe a hospital building? Actually, i never seen that whenever I last came here. Obviously, again, it was dark. But also does stink a bit. What's in there? Sorry, I'm just getting my torch out. There's an alarm ringing. That's nice, just toilets. Nothing, nothing special. The alarm is quite annoying though. But let's make our way through here. I'm gonna check this out. Their torch away from that. We water dispenser there. But yeah, them drip holders would help me believe it's a prison. No, a prison, that's a bit obvious. And medical the medical part. Oh, it's actually the kitchen. Okay. Never seen this last time. So there must be two kitchens in the place. Because I found one kitchen they were last time I was here. And then I'm also finding this one now. Let's see if the lights all work. Which they do. I Meaning I don't like my light. Because the light overexposes a lot of stuff, which isn't really helpful in a way. But yeah. Looks like we found the kitchen. Very orange, obviously, orange lights and stuff make it a bit harder. Stuff along the walls, basically. That must have been for the phones and guidelines for the cooking. It's pretty cool. Most prisons, as well, um, their kitchens are run by prisoners, so it's self sustained. So, they are, so I'm going to show them. This one's exactly the same. Dead birds everywhere. Chemical storage. Oops. Bit rough. This must just take you out the side. So I have made my way upstairs. Hi, as you can see. And we've made it to the room that I was talking about. With the huge pool table. We might have a wee game of pool later. If we do, I'll throw it in at some point. But this pool table is huge. And... Oh my, it's big. But yeah, we'll maybe have a wee game on it. What are these? 
Nothing, they just they look like they're on top of wee boxes or something. But, yeah, pool table's here, all the balls are here. I think it's actually a snooker table. Yeah, it's a snooker table. So we might not have a game, I don't think any of us actually know how to play snooker. <laughs> Could look up the rules and we'll try it out, but until then, we're not going to. <laughs> In the 1800s, the facility was opened by the British government as a detention centre for use by the military and following the War of Independence in Ireland in 1922, the barracks and the prison were taken over by the Irish government. The prison facility opened its doors to the public, making it a communal prison after a lot of refurbishment happened in 1983. The prison also holds a lot of history due to the War of Independence as executions were taken here in this very facility and grounds. There's also a place across the road which is now used as a military base, I could be wrong, an army base and is also partly a museum. It was also part of the facility whenever this was all happening during the Irish War of Independence and since then has now been refurbished into a museum and also partly used as military grounds. So not only has the prison had executions, changed hands multiple times, but there was also films filmed here. Sorry, movies. Two of them movies being The Maze and Michael Inside, both filmed in 2017. This is most likely one of the sets for having two of these flags, very important flags within Irish culture. Um, but apart from that there, the prison closed its doors in 2016 due to a new modern facility being built just a, f a stone throw across the road. The reason behind this was one, overcapacity, and two, due to the overcapacity, um, inmates, so prisoners, had to go to the toilet in the corner of their cells because there wasn't enough facilities, and then they had to empty them buckets themselves, meaning nobody else was doing it. And there was a big uproar when it came to public right no sorry human rights when it came to that incident apart from that there the capacity in 2009 was 298 as the prison's capacity was meant to only hold 220 272 sorry meaning the prison was well over capacity and what it should have been it was almost at 300 um, prisoners at one point this called for rehousing by the Irish government to basically create the facility across the road, which they had done. The prison then closed in 2016, like I said, having a 210 year reign in this area, and that still technically continues with the new facility, if you want to count that there. So we've made our way back outside. We've done that building and we've done this building. So therefore, it's time to do this building. This one's probably as big as this one here. Well, actually no, this one here's way bigger. Obviously it has all the rooms in it. But we're going to do this one. I cannot remember how to get in here. I think it's this way. So I've made my way through the jungle, essentially. And in the other side of here is where I need to be. So we're going to make our way through. I probably could have just went from there after realizing. Yeah, that's the building we came out of the straight ahead. He can't really see it. There you go. So that's the building we came out of. And I want to be going here. So I could have went in a straight line and said I went from there. But make our way through. In the courtyard. So for anybody wondering who we're with, um, I'm with Jimmy Rob Two, uh, Carl Urbex, uh, Jack Ninety Quinn, and Lost Ireland. Everybody's names basically in their thing. We have Jack, Carlos, Jack, Jimmy, and then me Ben. So, yeah, but this is the courtyard where they would do their exercise or spend time outside it's quite cool if I'm being honest um, you obviously have a lot of balls up and around and then there's a lot of balls here, they're quite small so it's not like 
they're massive big balls they're quite small sized I don't know why they're that size there must be a reason behind it but yeah but there's a lot of stuck on the barbed wire all around us but then um I keep hearing noises they're stuck in my hoodie but apart from that we have in here as well which is another courtyard this one looks a bit more run down and I'm going to assume this is the security booth in here you can somewhat see through the glass that would have been the security booth which would be used to obviously watch over the inmates as they're doing stuff in the courtyard so we make our way through another jungle <laughs> that's just grown through over the years um, we'll get through into there and there is the gate here's the gate so this takes us into the second one obviously the netting on the roof is a bit done in over the years you have razor wire stopping them from trying to climb out around the whole of the prison football nets is painted onto the walls same with over there basically seems like they never put up actual net no actual post or anything like that but this is what we're working with so we'll head in here and this will take us into that other building that we were looking to get into but this is brilliant we're fighting our way through here no problem why is there a golf club it's such a random thing to find it um, prison. I need to assume that was a warden or something. That wasn't a prisoner's. But yeah. This actually seems like the lookout room. To be honest. Quite a lot of cobwebs. But speak over this over the telecom. And then you can basically watch out at the prisoners. And then I'm assuming yeah so I'm gonna assume the prisoners would come from that way or whatever and then this would have slid over slides over currently and then it locks into there and that locks it but that's pretty cool so we're making it to where the workshop and stuff is now as you can see join your new workshop so where woodworking and stuff would happen we're not going into that room by no means because that room absolutely stinks There's piles upon piles of bird poo and stuff in it so I refuse to go into it but we'll help we go in here sorry I had to tap the camera try and get her sorted because there was a wee issue there but we'll work through sorry about that there my clip cut out by mistake but making our way through the workshop and essentially look how cool this is so, like I was saying, this is the joiner workshop. So, where all the woodworking would happen within this vicinity. I'm going to assume in there is roofing and painting. And it is also a room that we're not going in. As you can see, it is caked. And I mean caked in birds poop. But you can actually see some Gaelic stuff. So, GAA, which is the Irish national sport. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool cool guys but we went way back here and some machinery now has been left just behind yep. some carpenter that's the one we were just in but we're going to make our way through out from here into here so a big metal detector would have been here for people to walk through because obviously they would have been using tools and stuff that would have been to stop them from obviously taking stuff in and using it against people but this room is amazing you have paintings which I'm going to assume the prisoners done both of these a massive jigsaw puzzle anybody tells me that is please do if anybody knows you also have a painting there and from there there's a lot of history and stuff 
which I'm happy enough to skim through if you want to have a read at it. Do pause the screen in due time. It's going quite quick. Yeah. We'll skim through all these here and then we'll move on and see what else we can find. So, like I said, if you do want to read, do pause the screen. It's completely up to you. All good? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, some of the prison mattresses and stuff have left here. A lot of other things, which these seem like banners that were hung up at one point. <laughs> the 12 traditions. So I'm going to assume it's something to do with Irish traditions. As there was something, I think, it said GAA. But I could be wrong. Or is it 12? Is it, how many commandments was there by God? 12? Or 4? Or 10? Oh, see, I know my religious studies. But... Did you see that with the Yeah, it says all the names. People that have died, though. But look at the gravestones. Rest in peace, joy. I don't know what Mara is. Like. Mara. APP, that's pretty cool. And then once for here, back offices. So I'm going to assume this is all the office by the cabinets now from the prison officers that would have been used back in the day. And like I was saying, if the screen is blue, I do apologize. I am going to fix it. Um, if I do fix it, it's not blue for you guys, but for me. The screen has a blue tint and it's really strong, but I'm going to try and eliminate that. But yeah, we'll move on to the next part of the bit place and hopefully we'll find the um, facility for basically visiting. So I've made my way with Lost Ireland down to where the solitary confinement is and also the suicide pods for people that are trying to cause self harm. So this would probably be one of the waiting wings or one of the search areas out here you can actually see out to the courtyard of where they would have there's not very much um, space really they would get but you can basically see how small it is um, compared to the yard we were in earlier and I would say they would only get 30 minutes not even or to an hour a day um, in Bluxton, yeah. but if we check in here to the left Sorry about that, if that was loud. Or just normal. Yes, so this is one of the solitary cells. Just out of the way of the whole prison in a completely different wing. You all see open this here up to see through. Does the light work in the suicide cell? Yeah. You want to switch it on. And then this is one of the other confinement cells. Turn them off. And then... Uh, Another one, and then this one is the suicide pod. And then they don't watch all of them. That's fine. So with the suicide pod, obviously it has a glass window, so people can survey them 24/7. Um, turn off the night light, and it should turn on. The cell night. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, it is quite orange. I have to turn on. Turn on the ceiling one. It's going to turn a lot blue here, but essentially. Everything's curved, meaning they can't harm themselves. TV is encased, meaning they can't touch wires or anything like that. Meaning there's no way for you to harm yourself while you're in here. Obviously, probably a toilet and all there. But see the padding on the walls? If you can hear it. The padding is actually foam. You can actually see me squishing it in. And I think on the same with the bed, it's foam and the floor. Meaning they can't bang their head or whatever. And I'm going to assume the corners of the bed are foam as well, yeah. But that's pretty cool. There would have been a button here that they can press. It's possibly actually a camera for attention, but it's quite cool. We're going to make our way through to the other one here, which is quite dark in here. But you can actually see, there is, like I did say, there is a lot of dead birds in here, and there's one in front of me. But this is another one. We're going to make our way over to the place where people can visit, so the visiting centre, and from there 
we'll see what else we can find. So I've made my way to the visitation room from the pods that I was last at. So let's have a look. So essentially this is the side that the prisoners would be on. And the other side would be where the inmates would be. So we'll have a look around both sides. And see, I do need to use my light here because if you can see it's very dark. So the light's helping a bit. Um, but yeah, this is basically what it is. So people would talk through these here. If you're on the other side, you would pick it, it picks up the sound and basically transfers it through, allowing you to make a non-contact communication with someone. And this door locks over. So I'm assuming if you're having a private conversation or speaking to a lawyer or something, you can speak through there without anybody interrupting or being involved in the conversation. But what is it? So that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, we're gonna make way through, get a few bits of B-roll and. Like I say all the time, if we find anything else, I'll show you. So we made our way upstairs to what looks to be another facility for the inmates. Obviously where they shower off and stuff. But what is crazy, which is left behind, is this. Which probably was used by the doctor to check people's inside people's ears, obviously with them. Which is pretty cool. So that's just all left there. Just to rot away within time. Um, the same with they were doing a modern and stuff there, but this here, which is for checking people's blood pressure, which is pretty cool. This place does not disappoint at all in the slightest. Another one, basically check inside people's ears and stuff. But yeah, you can see we have all our stuff hidden underneath there, in case someone comes, the catches. How do you find the place so far? Well, even by that, I've got to find the warden. Yo, you find the warden's office? You. Yes, I mean, I'm sure it's full of the And we're going to assume there was blankets and stuff along here. Yeah, it's a dog first. Yeah. Yeah. Will we make our way to the warden's office then? We will, we will. We shall. So we've made our way to the governor's room so where the governor would have actually lived would have been in here and they so it is as you can see they have their own facility for changing toilets whatever and obviously the wash but as you can see he had a luxury in here so he did hurling all for playing hurling what do you call it hurl? yeah, yeah hurl. and then a safe I'm going to assume there was weapons in the safe at one point and obviously keys and stuff. Then there's a TV and they just all his cupboards which would be locked up over time. What? That's what that is. What? Oh yeah, and the, act, the active prison on the outside which is pretty cool. So we've made it through into another kitchen by the seams of it. A lot of the old stuff is still here. Fridges, mixers, ladles, you name it, it's all here. It's quite cool. Just everything's just here chilling. But yeah, let's go through here. So we've came upstairs and we have found the dairy fridges for obviously the kitchen making our way through and there's numerous amount of fridges in the area so up here must have been where all the stock and stuff was kept it's quite a lot of stuff that would have been kept because you're trying to maintain a prison off around about two to three hundred people so it would have been quite busy <laughs> 